Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, the amazing logic of Islam. You see, like when people they convert to a religion, like what they want, what exactly you are trying to get, where are you going, what is the plan, you know, why I need to convert to Islam. If there is any Muslim who would like to help us, I can open my Skype soon and you can call me. Why I need to convert to Islam? What will get exactly? Uh, to make it simple, what is the prize? I mean, Muslims, they are seeking a prize, right? You are not converted to Islam just because, you know, you don't, you don't know who is this Allah anyway. You never saw him, you never met him. What you will get exactly? A little review of what the Muslims will get in the heaven will tell you a lot about this belief. And this is exactly what we will try to do today. Actually, I will do my best to keep the video shorter, so it's going to be easy to carry around, like uh, to move around, uh, download, uh, share, repost again. There is a a video by the Dean Show. It's a Muslim TV station to promote Islam in USA. Very funny station. I like it actually. I called them many times because they are they are so brave. They did not let me go through. And the host in the show he have a phone. He says if you have a question, call us. And then nobody hear the ring, and yet he talk. Nobody hear the other person. Uh huh. Okay. okay. Okay, brother. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So the brother he's asking question. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. This is what they do. You hear nobody talking. You hear nobody calling. They have prepared the questions. They are the one who's asking. They are the one who's answering. It's a false show. However, this video here, the guy in the front of you on the screen, his name is Dr. Uh, Ibrahim Dermelli. Ibrahim Dermelli. Later, he played that he is sick and he's asking the Muslim to support him so that America will not kick him out of USA because his visa is expired. <laughs> anyway, so here he will tell you why, what we will get in heaven, what will happen exactly. Let us hear a little bit. How do we get to Jannah? Because you know what? You know, people, we need motivation. And this is what we're all striving for. We're striving for the ultimate prize. How do we get to that ultimate prize, Jannah? It is uh, the key in your hand. Of course, everything is by the will of Allah. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gives us a lot of ways to enter the Jannah. A lot of gates, a lot of opportunities, a lot of chance. Your life right now, this moment. Hmm. Okay, there's a lot of ways to enter Jannah. Let us see some of them. We will go back to the video. There's a lot of ways just to show you how serious this religion is. Oh, this is Muhammad talking. How you can enter heaven? If you say Subhanallah 100 times, you enter Jannah. What? Whoever recite this 100 times, Subhanallah, he enter heaven. What are you talking about? Subhanallah, 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 Subhanallah. Guys, don't interrupt me. I want to go to heaven. But by the second I finish Subhanallah 100 times, I will be there. How silly, how stupid. Whoever say, read carefully, it says whoever say, whoever recite this one, which is Subhanallah, in the morning and in the evening, he will not be suppressed in the day of resurrection by any one having done better than this, except for someone who had recited more. <laughs> we are going to spend the day doing competition, subhanAllah.
Subhanu la, Subhanu la, Subhanu la la ha la ha, Subhanu la, Subhanu la. Can we get some belly dancers? And you know, because this is a, too much time killing here. I mean, the guy who want to do that, obviously, he has nothing to do for a living. He's so bored and he's so stupid to the point he would do that in the morning and do noon after. I mean, why does God, he will make me go to heaven if I say that? And why 100 times? I thought Allah names is 99. What happened now with that 100? And where Muhammad, he got this? I mean, how come we cannot find this in the Quran? Muhammad, he have different teaching from the Quran. The Quran doesn't say that. We go to different hadith. Because yeah, they, are, they are in this. Here, Muhammad, he changed the statement. Whoever says this, I seek forgiveness of Allah and I repent to him if he recite this 100, 100 times in Arabic. You have to recite, remember, you have to recite, recite it in Arabic. <laughs> oh boy. In Arabic, most people don't know Arabic. And why, what, so what, what will happen if I say, so guys, you have to say this. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayhi. And I have to say this 100 times a day. If you say it 99, bingo. You miss it. You did not do it. Look, look. I don't know how a human being can be stupid and how far stupidity can go. When you say whoever do this, that's mean I do not even need to do anything else. That's it. I say this is 100 times and that's it. And, and let us say, I say this, I mean, how this is will make me go to heaven? Any Muslim can explain. What is this? Different one. The Prophet of Allah, Messenger of Allah, he said, I do not seek Allah forgiveness. So, sorry, uh, it's heavy things in it for my heart. If I don't seek Allah forgiveness 100 times a day, mm -hmm. the Muslims, they say that Muhammad wasn't a sinner. The Quran confirmed he was a big time sinner, right? Okay, so if you seek Allah forgiveness 100 times a day, so what will happen? I mean, why you want to seek Allah forgiveness 100 times if already you said Subhanallah 100 times already, you go to heaven, that's it, it's guaranteed. You are lying about this one? Is this one is a lie? Saying Subhanallah 100 times you will go to heaven? So now why? What, what, is, what is the rest for? What is those? Why he's keep adding stuff? And why he's stuck with the number 100? I came to Messenger of Allah and said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, tell me a good deed, for I have become old and weak and, over, and overweight. <laughs> I love this one, overweight. <laughs> <laughs> and there was something was here. He become overweight. He was worried you now. <laughs> Let me drink something. I'm going to die laughing. Hmm. Oh boy. So I become what? Old and weak and overweight? Okay, he said, Muhammad said to him, Proclaim the greatness of Allah. Say, Allahu Akbar, 100 times. And then say, Praise Allah, Alhamdulillah, 100 times. And then glorify Allah and say, Subhanallah, 100 times. This is better than 100 horses. 
What? What 100%? If there's any connection between this and the guy is getting the, the good deeds to go to heaven, right? Now, the guy is saying to you he is old, he is afraid of dying, and now you are telling him to spend your day saying this, this is will kill him actually. So you have to say Allahu Akbar 100 times. You have to say Subhanallah 100 times. What? Alhamdulillah 100 times. I mean, we have to admit, genius. The messenger of Allah, he said, he who utters a hundred time in a day of these words, La 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 ha la la ho la sharika la hu ha ha hu hu ha hi ha ha. You have to recite all those things, and he have to continue saying all of this. And the one who do that, a hundred good deed, Allah will put it in his credit card. And it's better than freeing ten slaves. That's why the, the Muhammad, by the way, he created those things so people would not need to create to free slaves. Why are you want a free slave now? Just do this. This is more valuable than freeing ten human beings. You see, the Arab before Islam, if somebody commits sin, even the pagan, you know, they used to say, "Okay, God, I will, for, I will free a slave if you forgive me." Muhammad, he come with a way to avoid the freeing the slaves. If you fast three days, better than freeing slaves. If you say this thing 100 times, it's better than freeing 10 slaves. So nobody need to free slaves no more. You want to kill that culture of a freeing slave. So now the person, he will do this, he will recite just a few words, a hundred times. Allah will consider that for him as if he freed 10 slaves and he will give him a hundred good deed in his credit card and at the top of that Allah will forgive 100 sin he will erase it from the scroll of a scroll a scroll of Allah and he will be safeguarded the devil on the day till the evening <laughs> I mean, this is too good to be true. Very nice, very nice. I like it. I'm just going to convert to Islam immediately. And even Allah will take his sin, even if it was so much as the form of the ocean. Read carefully. He, like the, 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 the hadith here will have two parts. There's the guy who do this, is better than free and ten slaves, and Allah will put 100 good credit in his deeds, and he will forgive 100 sin of his sin. But then, if somebody do more, he exceed. And no one will exceed him in doing more excellent de good deeds except someone who has recited these words more often than him. You see the competition now? Okay. And he utters, Subhanallah wa Bismillah. Allah is free him, free from imperfection, and he is the prize. 100 times a day, his sin will be obliterated even if it's equal to the extent of the form of the ocean so now I go I do all kinds of garbage be like Muhammad have sexual relationship with the children 
killing people, raping people, kidnapping people, asking for ransom, beating somebody to the knee, where he hide his money, ripping a woman to part when she is alive. And then after that, I say this, Subhanallah, praise be to Allah, Wallahi, and then Allah will erase all my sin, even if my sin is more than the all sin. What do you think, people? Do we have any Muslim here have a comment? Who is a Muslim agree with this? Who is a Muslim here agree with this? Just because you recited 100 times stupid sentence, Allah will erase your sin, even if it's more than the form of the ocean. Anyone? Do you know how dangerous this teaching is? People, they can go slaughter each other, rape each other. He go home, he recite this 100 times, he's done. You see, Muhammad, he made it clear, even if his sin, extent of the form of the ocean, How this is can be from God? Does any Muslim have any comment? So you notice here this guy Muhammad, he, because he's a fraud, he is promising anyone just say stupid things, you go to heaven. Just believe in me, uh, accept me as a prophet, and do what I say. Say Alhamdulillah 100 times. And by doing that, he keep your brain busy from thinking to question him, how smart you he is. You see, Muhammad, he was trying to do his best to terrify the people around him. So they will not think about him, as an example. Muhammad, he told them that when you go to the bathroom, when you go to the bathroom, if you don't say a certain prayer, shaitan will do enter into your anus and he will play with it. So you have to say a certain prayer. Otherwise, if you don't say it, Satan, he will play with your anus. But if you say this prayer, Allah protect your anus and he cannot get close to you. There's a video, I'm trying to find it. I want to find the original video. Uh, Yeah, I, actually, I, I find the video, but I want to find the whole video. They cut it off. I didn't find the original one. It is hilarious. It is literally hilarious. But this is what they believe. When when the Muslims, who they never heard this before, they start laughing, the Sheikh is to them, the Hadith says, the Hadith says, this is what Allah says, you know, this is the Hadith, you know, why you are laughing? When you enter the bathroom, if you don't do that, so Muhammad, he was trying to terrify those people by superstition. And you, if you don't do this, you, you know, keep busy. Even if you go to the bathroom, you need to say the name of Allah to protect your anus. And not only you need to say it, you have to pray. It's like just not saying, oh Allah. No, you have to pray certain prayer. You have to say certain words. Where is this video? I found a very short one. I cannot find. I need to find the exact... Uh, name of the original so I can find it but uh, let us see it 
Let us see the short one. I wanted the, the longer one, the full one, but I cannot find it. <clears throat> Tell me this shit. It says, yeah, when you give the adhan, the shaitan, he not only runs, but the hadith says, lahu durat. You know what durat is? Durat is. He runs, and as he's running, yeah, his fart comes out. Lahu durat. I'm not making this the hadith. And listen to the hadith, like you first, you know what the deen is about. The deen is about getting the shaitan away from you. So, you know, you go into the toilet, you know, Bismillah, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al khubuthi wal khabais. So Allah protect me from these devils. You you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward. <laughs> with the left foot. You have to say, A'udhu Billahi min al khubti wal khabaith. You have to say it in Arabic. Even if you are Chinese. And you have to enter with the left foot. Brother, be careful. Shaitan, he fought. But this is not the problem. Shaitan, now he will enter the bathroom. And he will go inside your anus. Brother, I'm warning you. You have to say the prayer as you heard it in Arabic. Otherwise, and after you say the prayer in Arabic, you have to enter with the left foot. Please take a note. Please take a note. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. If you don't enter with the left foot, you are dead. Literally, excuse my language, your anus is screwed. Literally. Hello, I warned you. Hmm? So Allah protect me from this devil. You know, Bismillah, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al khubuthi wal khabais. So Allah protect me from these devils. You, you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. You're in the toilet, shaitan can't see you. Brother, by the second you enter with the left foot, you get a reward for that. The second you enter with your left foot, you get a reward for that. Do you see how beautiful Islam makes sense? Because now you said the prayer and you enter with your left foot, brother. Right away, Allah spank you with the good deeds. He got, he give you reward. <laughs> In China, they say he left as a donkey, never came back as a horse. I wonder we're talking about who? Hmm. Okay. The deen is about getting the shaitan away from you. So, you know, you go into the toilet, you know, Bismillah, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-khubuthi wal khabais. So Allah protect me from these devils. You, you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. You're in the toilet, shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith, right? What? Like what? Shaitan, he cannot see me no more? <laughs> Brother, can I do that if I want to rob a bank? <laughs> you became invisible. <laughs> Shaitan, he was like, he's, he's trying to touch you by hand, like, are you there? Where are you? I can't see you. Are you still there? You still there? And you're like, yeah, I'm here. You cannot see me. Ta -la 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 -ta 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 -ta. Keep trying. Good luck with that. I am now invisible. Allah, he made me invisible. You are not. <laughs> so Allah protect me from these devils. You, you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. You're in the toilet, shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith, right? If you don't say the dua, what happens is the shaitan not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tidmidi says he plays with your bowels. <laughs> yes, in Arabic it says, Yalla abu fi maqa'adihi. <laughs> you know, I mean, I know those stories since I was like really very, I mean, long, long time ago. But each time I hear them, I die laughing as if I hear it the first time. I mean, how stupid a human being can be. So if you don't say this prayer, Shaitan, not only he can see you, brother, 
he will play with your anus. He's trying to be supposedly not to say the word anus, but this is what he's saying. Shaitan, he will go inside you through your anus and he will pluck it and he will get a screwdriver. His wife, she will give him a screwdriver. Honey, can you give me the big screwdriver? <laughs> You, you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. You're in the toilet, shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith, right? If you don't say the dua, what happens is the shaitan not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tidmidi says he plays with your bowels. He plays with your bowels. So you're inside there, you're thinking you're going to be out there in five minutes. He's taking you 20 minutes and you're still not halfway there. <laughs> You know why? Because Uncle Shaitan is going, ooh, ooh, la la. <laughs> See, the hadith told us, the hadith says to us. See, they are laughing. So he said, the hadith told us, the hadith told us, the hadith say, which means the prophet says, shut up. You see, they start laughing. He said, the hadith says, the hadith says, the hadith says, which means Muhammad say, this is serious. This is serious business. This is very serious business. Commercial break. If you are afraid about your anus, you want to secure your anus, Shaitan, he will play with your anus. It's just a matter of time. And he will be inside your anus. You better say those words right now. I cannot tell you those words unless you call us immediately. 1-800-ANUS. Subscribe and get the recipe to protect your anus. Anus Insurance Company. End of commercial. So what he is teaching us that Allah is your insurance for your anus. You say the name of Allah before you enter the bathroom with your left foot. Remember, left foot, not right foot. Right foot you are screwed. Sorry. Hello. It works only with the left foot. <laughs> I mean, what I can do, I mean, brother, it's left foot only. I cannot, I cannot explain to you why. Don't ask me. Don't ask me why with the left foot only. It doesn't work with the right foot. Hello? Don't discuss that with Allah. Allah, he said, left foot is left foot. What's wrong with you? You people are ignorant. Toilet, you know, Bismillah, Allah, the shaitan away from you. So, you know, you're going <coughs> to the toilet. You know, Bismillahi Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-khubuthi wal khabais. So Allah protect me from these devils. You, you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. You're in the toilet, shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith, right? If you don't say the dua, what happens is... Commercial break. If you like to be invisible, Visible to your mother-in-law or invisible to your mother-in-law. Visible to your wife or invisible to your wife when you are doing bad stuff. Invisible for the company who you work for, the boss. Invisible so your wife, she will not force you to wash dishes. Invisible. Call us now. We have the only prescription. Prescri prescription. <laughs> End of commercial. What this commercial is about? I mean, why they are putting commercial on my YouTube? Hey, YouTube, I thought I am not modernized. What is that? I mean, you see, guys, YouTube is forcing commercial on us. We did not allow commercial. Where this commercial is coming from? You like to be invisible from your mother-in-law? We got a solution. Your wife, she is angry from you because you are watching Christian Prince and you did not watch this. Is. We got a solution for you. 
You did not pay your bills or you are wanted by the FBI, we get solution for you. The best solution, invisible. By saying a sentence and entering with the left foot. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I mean, don't take me wrong. I'm not saying I don't agree with this. I mean, come on. We have to be honest here. You can tell that's I am just saying I agree. All right? We have to say the prayer, enter with the left foot, everything will be fine, don't worry, be happy. So Allah protect me from these devils. You, you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. You're in the toilet, shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith, right? If you don't say the dua, what happens is the shaitan not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tibbid says he plays with your bowels. Brother, I have a question. <laughs> Why this is happening only to Muslims? <laughs> I want this guy to witness and swear by Allah that he tried to enter the bathroom without saying the prayer and that happened to him. <laughs> but but uh, can you put a camera? Can you put a camera and show us live on air? What is going to happen there? <laughs> I hate you all, I hate you. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Unbelievable. How come you don't believe in this, you crazy people? You people are stupid, you people. How do you don't believe in this? You should convert to Islam right now. The truth is like sun. Look at the benefit of converting to Islam. Your anus is secure. Brother, what about... Uh, <clears throat> oh, brother, we have a solution for that one too. There's a prayer, you say it. I'm serious. Muhammad, he said, before you have intercourse with your wife, you have to say a certain prayer, otherwise shaitan, he will round himself around your private part, I'm talking about the man, and he will do intercourse with him to his wife. Oh boy. Oh boy. I remember once I was in a chat room, and the admin there, he sent me a text message, he says, there's a uh, there's a guy, he come here always, you know him, huh? He come always, he take the microphone, he says, You Christians are the son of shaitan, you didn't know you were... Yeah, but I know what he's talking about, I know the, about the prior, you know? So he said, it's only you who can get him busted, he, we are sick of him. Each time he take the mic, he say the same thing. So I took the microphone and I said to this Abdul, So are you sure this hadith is sahih? About if we don't say this prayer, shaitan, he will round himself around the man thing? And he would do the women, and that would make us the babies of shaitan. He said, I swear by Allah, it's true. I said, are you sure? He said, what's wrong with you? I just told you it's true. I said, are you sure? He said, I'm telling you, this is very true. What's wrong with you? How many times I need to repeat it? It's true. And then I said to him, well, based on this, Muhammad must be the son of shaitan, because his father was not a Muslim, and he did not say that a prayer. <laughs> And you should see this Abdul, he took the microphone, he started crying. May Allah kill you. May Allah destroy you. You are smart like the devil. May Allah cut your pieces. May Allah... And since then, he never came back to the chat room to tell us we are the sons of shaitan. Because we proved that Muhammad himself is son of shaitan. I mean, do you see how stupid Muhammad is? He told them you have to say a prayer. Before you do intercourse, otherwise shaitan, he will do your wife and the son will be his, the son of the shaitan. When Muhammad's father was a kafir, he did not say that prayer. So Muhammad is a son of shaitan. And this is why they fear talking to me. Because their IQ is not even 1% to what the Lord, he provided us. Continue. But the hadith of Tibni says he plays with your bowels. He plays with the bowels. So you're inside there, you're thinking you're going to be out there in five minutes. He's taking you 20 minutes and you're still not halfway there. 20 minutes and you are not even halfway there. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. You are not even halfway there. Which half? <laughs> Let us not to go into details, okay? Please, 
Forgive me, I cannot tell you details. I cannot go there. For, sorry, that's it. We're going go to skip this part. Halfway there? You know what? Because I'm cliche, that's going to ooh, ooh, la la. <laughs> See, the hadith told you. The hadith, the hadith says, says the hadith. plays with your bowels. The hadith says. Yalla abu, yalla abu, he plays with your bowels. Hmm. Hadith of Timmy, this shit. Shit. Shit, shit. The hadith told me this shit, shit. So this is what Islam is about, my friend. And let me try to find the hadith we mentioned about the prayer before the intercourse. Give me a second. Because Muslim, they might say, he's lying, it doesn't, where is, where, where this is from? I'm not sure how many of you is going to convert to Islam after we show you all those things, which is amazing, brother. And I'm afraid many of you will convert now. But, you know, it's a risk we have to take. Sabliki saying, before sexual intercourse, what? Sabliki saying before sexual intercourse. Excuse my language. Do we have any kids here? If you are a kid, get out. No place for kids. This is what talking about Muhammad now. <laughs> the second we speak about Muhammad, things go out of hand. A brother, now your wife, she is. Hey, honey, I'm ready. And now it is time for you to pray to Allah. بسم الله اللهم جنبنا الشيطان وجنب الشيطان ما رزقتنا. Should I say it 100 times? بسم الله اللهم جنبنا الشيطان و. By the time you finish your wife. Hey Fatima, Fatima, I finished the prayer. Hey Fatima, we need to make babies. Hello, wake up. What is this? If you don't say this prayer, but let us show you more details. Hold, I don't know. This, this website is not showing any details. I hate it. I hate it. We need more details. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a video about it actually. I wish I can play it. Should I play it? But I'm afraid it might be very dirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Lord, forgive me. I mean, what I can do? This is what my mission is about to expose this garbage. Oh. Uh, Let us see if we can find. I can, you know, I can show the, det the old details in Arabic, which are easy, but we need the English one so you guys can read. All right. <clears throat> this is the whole point. So you people can see. This website is not good. Let us add some text to the search to find in English. Okay.
So yeah, it's not easy to find reference in English. In Arabic, it's so easy, but we want to find something really translated <clears throat> from a Western website. Okay. I can find it easier actually if I know the word in English. Guys, what is the what is the name of the thing? Excuse my language. The thing of the male private part, the top thing in English. Anybody can tell me? Excuse me again. I'm just this is study here. We are not speaking dirty. What is the name? I think it's called Yotra something, Otra, Yotra. How to pronounce it? I'm not sure. Because I, I remember I saw it in English and they were using that word. He would be rounding himself around Otra, Yotra, I'm not sure. No? Okay, Tamara, here we go. Uh, okay, okay, here we go. That that will help us. All right, let us see. Now we can find it. I think we can find it now. <clears throat> uh, okay. There we go. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. Well, I don't know. I'm seeing a website have nothing to do with Islam now after I did this word. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This is not what we are looking for. Okay, hold on. Um. <clears throat> um, hmm. I'm not sure why I cannot find it, but, uh, we show it to you already in Arabic, but we want to find the details in English. Actually, before I found it so easy, I'm not sure why this time is taking too much. Satan round himself around. Let me just see. Um, well, I'm having difficulty really to find a hadith. Uh, let us see why we have to pray to Allah before intercourse. Maybe that will make it easier. Let's see this one. No. <clears throat> ah, getting complicated. You must.
Mm -hmm. I don't know, I cannot find it. Uh, maybe some other time we can look for it and uh, try to find it in English. All right. Yeah, no, it's there. I mean, you guys, you can search for it. Just search like uh, Shaitan, he wronged himself around the man, private part, if you don't pray to Allah. But you need to click many websites. I don't know how many until you find because you need to find the exact word they use in the translation. You know? <clears throat> Like I'm using around himself, but I think this is the wrong word. But I'm sure. Um, I mean, the second you start searching about something topic about Islam, you will find uh, all kind of things like sex toys. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, forget about this thing. Now, so as you see, this religion focus and make you a fool. And the second you turn into a fool, that's it, you're a fool. You don't think much. So Muhammad now is making you worry, if you are a believer, that you need to do things every day. You are occupied, you are busy. Your brain is busy. Busy about what? Busy about thinking about stupid things. Shaitan will go inside your anus. Shaitan, he will play with your belly button. If you sleep in your, if you sleep in your stomach, Shaitan will do boom boom to you. Uh, when you die, there's 99 dragons will go inside your anus unless you read Quran. Uh, when you go in the grave, even in the grave, the two angels will come to you and they will ask you three questions: Who is your God? You have to say Allah. What is your religion? You have to say Islam. Who is this guy? You have to say Muhammad. Otherwise, shaitan, the, the angel, sorry, they will hit you with the hammer. So you notice here Islam is focusing in how we can create a fool. And the second we can create a fool, this fool is a Abdul. He is totally in control. He will not use his brain no more. We can control him. We can send him to war and die and nobody will ask why. As simple as that. And my friend, I do not need the hadith number. I know all the numbers. I'm saying about English. No, I want the details. I want the details. The details, in, it's not in Sahir Bukhari. I want more details. Maybe you are talking about uh, hold on. Yeah, well. Anyway, forget about this. Here, here the. Uh, the Sheikh, he been asked, okay, now what we will get in heaven? When we go to the heaven, what you will get? And guys, when you see what you will get in heaven, you will love it. Musk, a beautiful perfume will cover you. Small card, my servant is my, my honored servant. I miss you. Allah will send you card every Friday in your palace and the angels will deliver it to you. Your house will have four doors. You have a castle and the castle have four doors. One for the servants, one for the wives, one for you, one for the angels, brother. The Jannah has four doors. You enter from one door. And one door. I'm so glad I don't enter from four doors at the same time. That will be something. Brothers, good news. You will enter from one door. You will enter from one door. Your house has four doors, but you will enter from one door. <laughs> okay, makes sense. Or one gate, your 
servants. Guys, the one who is showing me the hadith in Arabic, we show it in Arabic already. We put it in the screen. I know it in Arabic. Do you think I need somebody to tell me what the hadith Arabic? We are trying to find the details. This is not the details. There's a, there's a details in English about what shaitan he do by pounding himself. You can find that in my book, Six and Allah. But I'm trying to find the Islamic website. From all kind of servants would come and enter to help you. You have 70,000 servants. Huh? He changed the number. Muhammad, he said 80. This guy, he said 70. <laughs> 70,000 servants, all of them, they are boys. But question to Muslims. In the heaven of Allah, your food is ready. Nobody cooking it. Because you wish something is going to be in the table. Not the servant will bring it. You want to eat a fruit, the tree will come back to you. The Quran says so. Your clothes will never get dirty, will never get wrinkled, you will never change it, you will never take a shower. You do not need to please your, clean your house. So what the servant for? Those are sexual servant boys. The Quran says they are white like pearls because Muhammad had obsession with white color. So the boys are for sex and the women are for sex. 70,000, this guy, he said, the hadith says 80,000. Depend in the hadith you read. In the paradise, in that castle. 70,000. 70,000 in that paradise. Imagine this. And, and suppose that will make me happy to have 80,000 or 70,000 little boys serving me. This is not only, let us say they are just servant. I mean, this is not only sick. This is disgusting. This is really disgusting. 70 or 80,000 is the size of a town. All of them, they are boys. Doing what serving me? What, what they will serve me exactly? What does that mean? What 80,000 will do to me? Sick. Child abuse, slavery, sexual slavery, you name it, for kids. And he is sewing like, wow, 70,000. The guy who converted to Islam, this guy, the white guy, by the way, he's a convert. Look how sick he is. Like, wow, 70,000. Or, or think, what is the agenda? Uh, before, let me describe something beautiful about your castle. Your castle in the Jannah. It's something so beautiful. Your castle in the Jannah has four doors. You enter from one door. And one door or one gate, your servants from all kind of servants would come and enter to help you. You have 70,000 servants in the paradise, in that castle. 70,000. 70,000 in that paradise. Imagine this. And the American guy like, wow, that's good, man. I love boys. Man, 70,000. Yes, brother, 70,000. 70, huh? Yes, brother. Thousands. Yes, brother. And one door, this one door you enter, one door your servants, and one door there is a special angel will come to you every Friday. What? Even Muhammad and they celebrate night club on Friday? <laughs> every Friday, brother. A special angel will come to your door in a Friday. Special door. You open the door, what will happen? Every Friday, they come and they visit you on the Friday, have a small card in his hand. That angel have a beautiful small card in his hand. And guess what is written in the, in the card? It is a message from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Message from Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Abdi, in that card. Abdi, that means my servant. In another riwayah, I call it Tirmidhi, Abdana. This is my, my honored servant. I miss you. Fazurni. And so come and visit me. Allah send you this. The creator of the heavens and earth, he's calling. Imagine the creator of the earth. The... Hey, Christians, the Muslims are flagging my video. And they are giving dislike with the flag. Don't forget to give it like. We will finish this video soon, and we have it recorded already, so I don't think Muslims you can take it down. We will have it all over. All over. The one he created, create everything? 
He said, come and visit me. We get excited if, say, the president was saying, hey, look, I want to have a meeting with you. <laughs> this imagine, is the creator. Imagine Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself send you this message with a small card. My servant is stuck to, I miss you, come and visit me. The fourth door, you will go out from your castle to visit the president of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the moment you put your right foot outside the house. Uh -huh. So we go in the bathroom with the left foot. We go in the house of Allah with the right foot. The bathroom, the left foot. The house of Allah, right foot. Take a note. Otherwise, you're in trouble. There is a rain of musk. Uh -huh. It's a mask time. Musk, a beautiful perfume, will cover you. Until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepare around the throne. He the throne subhanahu wa ta'ala. Karasi, chairs, front of the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we, every, every chair assigned under your name and his name and her name. Okay, hold on. So I will go there and now I need to find a chair. So there's 1.4 billion Muslims. And now I need to find my chair before the party started. <laughs> and then what is going to happen next after we find the chair after 20 years? And we see the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling the angel, it's so beautiful, Eddie. Just to think, Allah, the creator of the heaven and the earth, he said, to, to, telling the angels, yeah. Let us go to the business. The party will start and then three singers will sing. You can watch the video yourself, it's hilarious. It's called Description of Paradise Jannah by Dr. Ibrahim Dermali. The Jannah, uh, the party started and then three singers will sing. The first singer is David. We'll tell Dawood alayhi salam. Dawood, David alayhi salam. Stand up my servant David, Dawood. Recite to them as Zabur, the psalm of David alayhi salam. The psalms? The psalms will be recited by David alayhi salam. David prophet. the prophet David. David, prophet David alayhi salam. And imagine when David alayhi salam reciting, the birds will be like reciting after him. The river will stop. Oh, my faucet is not working. Obviously, David is singing. Okay. I'm not talking about something else, too. Because if every liquid is stopped, you can use your imagination. Imagine this. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling those people, my servant, have you ever heard the beautiful more than that? Have you ever heard? They will say no. And this is, وَعِزَّتَكَ وَجَلَالَكَ By your glory and your power, Ya Allah. We never heard beautiful more than that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell those people, I will make you hear more beautiful more than that. Listen, Allah Azza wa Jalla telling Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Stand up Muhammad. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Recite to them. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How much we follow the steps of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How much we dream about him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How much we read about him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, he's in front of you. <laughs> now, he's reciting to you Surah Ta'ala. Michael Jackson time. Allah Azza wa Jalla will tell you and tell you all of us, my servant, ya ibadi, hal sami'tum afdal min dhalik? Have you ever heard beautiful more than that? Say, Ya Rabbi wa izzatak wa jalalak. By your glory and your power, we never heard the beautiful more than No way, are you kidding me? A voice better than Muhammad? Hello? Ha what? Hello? That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was telling us, La usmi annakum wa la It's time now for Allah to sing. First David, then Muhammad, then Allah. And look how stupid this story. Every Friday, Allah will ask you the same question. Have you ever heard better than this when David is singing? You say, no way. Then he asked Muhammad to sing. He said, have you ever heard better than this? You say, no way, we swear by Allah, never. And then Allah, he sang himself and he asked, have you ever heard better than this? He would say, no way, you are the best Allah every Friday. You eat it, just you heard it last week. This is heaven. So you will be repeating the same party, the same song, the same singer every Friday night for eternity. I say to you, whoever believe in this, for eternity, you are stupid. For eternity, you are a stupid fool.
How can I say more? Thank you all for watching us. May the Lord bless us, protect us. Love the Muslim, don't hate them. We are trying to help them to see that Islam is a stupid cult. And the one who have a brain, the one who have a mind, he should use it. The Lord, he gave us a gift. If you don't use it, it's your fault. This is, cannot be from God. This is a person making fun of your brain, making fun of your humanity, making fun of you and your, your understanding. We are not monkeys. We are not Zaraf. We are not uh, 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 animals. We are a human who have a brain. This is, cannot be from God. You do not need to be a genius. Three singers every Friday. What is that? This is having supposedly and boys, 70,000 boys and a lot of women for boom, boom. How a human being can believe in such a thing? Download the video as soon as it's ready. And thank you very much for being here. We will post the videos in different channels because we know the Muslims will not like it, will hate it. It's going to be all over as usual. God bless you. Thank you very much. Christ is Lord. Islam is dummy. Made by a dummy. For the dummies, are you? And if Muhammad or a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how full are you?